A new year often means a new set of laws are set to take effect on January 1st. Here to share a couple of those with us tonight is Capitol correspondent Chris Rosado. Chris, what are we looking at tonight? Well, obviously we don't have enough time to go over each new law that will go into effect, but tonight we're going to look at one that deals with new protocols for state police during traffic stops and another that helps modernize our state's health care system. For Louisiana in particular, the COVID pandemic shined light on several areas in our health care system that needed some updates, one of them being the way doctors visit with their patients. It, it's basically now we have telehealth. Republican Senator Fred Mills was able to pass a law that allows patients to have their first initial visit with their doctor, nurse, or whoever over Zoom or FaceTime to go over their symptoms. The old law required your first initial visit to be in person to see if telehealth was necessary going forward. Now, if somebody needs to have a telehealth visit, you know, remotely like Zoom or the way we're, we're talking right now, you don't have to see the doctor up close and personal for the first time. Senator Mills says this is not only a more convenient way for you to see your doctor, but it also keeps you and others safe from being exposed to viral diseases. Especially in the, in, in, during flu season, you maybe you don't want somebody to come into the office. You want them to be able to have this, this visit here, not to, not to have, cause an epidemic of, of sorts. Another law going into effect puts more requirements on state police while conducting traffic stops. So it collects all of the data at the traffic stops. I work very closely with the state police in order to get this done. Uh, it should be the standard. It gives transparency. The law requires troopers to collect data such as the race, gender, age, and ethnicity for each routine stop. And this clears the law enforcement as well as it protects the public. I think it's a two-way street on it. I think it's a win-win. It's similar to what I did with the body cameras and, you know, it's thinking progressive and forward. Now, Representative Marcel says she would have liked to see her law applied to all law enforcement, but the funds just simply weren't there. She's hoping this next planned special session on crime come February will be an opportunity to try and expand it then. Liz. Chris Rosado for us tonight. Thank you. And by the way, if you want to read the full list of new laws for our state, you can find them right now.